on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. So, this is my uh, new home. Or base of operations. It's got more uh, skeletons and whatnot that I could. As Izuku then sees a horde of skeletons walking up to him, him is like, oh crap. Getting ready to fight, but this is when they show up and bow to him. Wait, you guys aren't gonna hurt me? See how their heads are bowed. It must be the fact that I'm death. They're my subordinates, I guess? Raise your heads. Them doing so. Izuku. Can you speak? Them shaking their heads no. Can you take me to someone who can? Nodding yes. As then Izuku comes across. Not a skeleton, but <laughs> a living corpse. Or, shall I just say zombie? Let's just say that. You know I hate zombies with a passion. Who are you? I'm Death. Oh, no, you're not. Death is... Wait. Getting a good look at you. Here, put this on. Uh, what's this? Your mask? Uh, oh, it smells like a rotting corpse, I know. Go on. I don't have a choice, do I? No, you could refuse to wear it, but I would have to question your authenticity of calling yourself death. Uh, okay. As soon as Suzuka puts it on, yeah, this is a whole cultural shock for Izuku. Because he's starting to get a fair amount of knowledge that Death knew. Especially one of his many names, Kinslayer. This just causes him just to throw it away and what was that? Hmm. Okay. It seems as though you do. Uh, so happen to be him. What? You apparently are death. Only thing is, what are you doing here? Well, this is my residence, isn't it? Yes, but you, at least the you before tasked me with watching over your home I did yes it's most simply you don't remember more time here or should uh, allow you to regain some more memories unless you plan on leaving soon I do have to find my siblings Hmm. Well, I shall warn you that there are those who would like to see you gone. What do you mean? How should I put this? You can be killed, as can your siblings. Only being, you could say, reanimated or brought back 
whilst the seals have been broken, all of them, mind you. If one of you dies and there's still one seal left, you will remain dead until it, then. Forever long that might take, the birds or the bats could possibly gain a significant, you could say, uh, hold for a large portion of, of the territory. I know she didn't say anything about the humans. <laughs> oh, believe me, I was human once. We are not that special. Uh, what makes you say that? Well, I died. How? Uh, as Izuku, he sees a rope and is like, were you, I was not doing anything devious, I just, uh, uh, the rope was a little too tight, <laughs> wait, are you saying you died as you were, Either way, doesn't matter. Either way, I died and you gave me a technically another chance. I swore my loyalty to you because though you could have had me go back, you realized that if I did, I would have to explain myself. Oh, the fact that you were rolling one out and just didn't expect the road to be like that. <laughs> I prefer if you don't break up my past. Mistake. So don't get me wrong, I have. Uh, I'm fine with serving you. It's just. Yeah. I would like to forget that chapter in my life, if you don't mind. Sure. I, I won't bring it up anymore. I thank you. Now, what's this about you uh, having to find your other siblings? Are they not with you? Uh, no. But he did say that I would at least be able to sense them. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, well, that seems very hmm. convenient. Well, it seems as though you're here for a reason. What might that reason be, sir? Um, well, I need to get to know myself more. Really? How so? I need to learn more of death, of course, so I can do my job better. Good job. I mean, though, yes, you are um, fully able to take lives as well as give life. You, you've only been really needed whenever it came to the apocalypse as well as preserving the balance. What? Yeah. If anything, you don't really do anything. Besides, keep the balance as, you know, the Chart Council demands it. Oh. 
So I don't have to do anything? No, sir. You don't. Huh. Uh, okay. It's so I can just pretty much do whatever I want. Until the charge council deems it necessary for you to act. Okay. Oh, you're right. I know I. I've been known as the Kinslayer. Is that why so many people look at me with such disgust, resentment? I would say so. You and your other siblings were chosen by the council to. Well, be their, you know, attack dogs when needed. You were loyal to them, though they did show somewhat of a disdain for you themselves. Having the only Nephilims there, as powerful as each of your siblings were, that you slayed. Having you in their pockets did seem to be very hmm, beneficial when it comes to keeping the balance that they love so much. Oh. Yes. So, we're just pretty much servants of the Charred Council. Whatever they say goes. And considering that each of you are fully capable of taking on demons as well as angels, in fact, possibly legions of both at once, especially you, sir. So I really am the strongest. That's correct. And the oldest. But from my memories, war was bigger than me. True, but it does not mean he's the oldest. In fact, I believe he's actually the youngest of you. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of funny. I can see why you would say that. So, what? Uh, would you like to? Get me to give you a tour or something? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm actually showing you around your own domain. It's actually kind of comical. How's up? When I first arrived here, you got to show me the way. It seems rather nice that I could aid you after you were gone for so long. As yes, Izuku finally getting more in tuned to his newer role. Going around his castle, seeing that yes, he has weapons, yes, he has training room in which there are a lot of slash marks huh so I was pretty dangerous huh without doubt if anything you are the leader for a reason so it's not just because I'm the oldest being the strongest doesn't hurt you either Right, but still, still kind of weird for me to just, I understand, sir, but if anything, I want to pay your friend a visit. Friend? Yes. Don't tell me you've actually forgotten 
Ash. Uh, my, my crow. Yes, precisely. So you do re remember. Uh, as soon as you said that name, it just clicked a little bit. Must have been so lonely. I would believe so. Okay. So we're summon him. What? Oh yes. He is yours. So I just yes. As Zuku focuses, he tries to hone in on the what connection does seem to have to Ash, in which it works. One thing that Ash is like, whoa, whoa, a little hesitant. It's like, where are you? Where are you, bro? Him? Huh. It's me. Come on, you can trust me, Ash. Yes, I believe I can. Whew. Nice. Hey. Uh. So, about dust, huh? Yes, there's an, another one for you. Are you serious? Of course. Haven't you heard? Ashes to ashes and... Uh, <laughs> that's right. How can I be so careless? Hmm. Now... Why not call your steed? Despair? Right. See? You're, you're getting this. Huh. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Hmm. But I really do wonder. What? How strong am I now compared to before? Hmm. So I do believe that is a very good question. Of which I... I'm not sure. Let hmm. me look back to all your other feats. It may take him a while. Oh. Uh, do you really think? Yes. If I think it could be very... difficult to truly uh, gauge your skills. Don't get me wrong, you are quite a formidable opponent. But still... As yes, when it comes to his attack, let's just say it's multi C block leveled. His strength is known to be superior to war, so I was like, okay, I can do that. So, what's this most about this whole Reaper fall? form I can have. Mm. Let's see. As you are uh, death, one thing that you definitely uh, use is scythe. Scythes? Yes. Uh, me more than is one? Correct. 
mean, your main weapon of choice is the harvester. Really? Yes, of course. If anything, it is a shape shifting weapon. Like, will I come, come on? Okay. This may sound crazy, but it can turn into uh, one single scythe, dual size gauntlets, hammers, and more. Really? Ah, uh, yes. Harvester is very versatile, given your type of fighting style. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. I may not be as strong as I am. It was in the past, but maybe given enough practice, enough training, I could definitely. What? Do you truly want to? Well, well, if my, you know. Siblings. Hmm. Okay. This I shall do my best. Hmm. What's first? All right. Let's let's do something easy. All right. Try death grip. What's that? Well, it's a special ability in which it's similar to your to abysmal chain. Okay, abysmal chain. What's that? It's something used by your brother War. Oh, oh okay. If anything, you can use it to grab onto things, pull things towards you, etc., etc. It's kind of like you shooting your hand out. It definitely comes in handy. Alright, uh, what else can I do? Hmm. Let's see. You also have the ability of... I have heard you say something about Void Walker. What? Yes. Okay. Well, what else? Soul Splitter. Uh huh? Oh, yes. It makes you split your spirit into two entities while you're actual physical body is stone. You can control each of them separately or with enough practice I believe you could control them both at once. It'll take a lot of practice though. Hmm. Okay. Anything else I should know? Uh, let's see. Hmm, let's see, what was it called? Ah. One of your main abilities should be able to, you know, use your siblings' weapons. What? Yes. I believe when it came to your brother... Strife, you used redemption. Is that here? No. Oh, that would be your brother's domain. Well, damn. I guess I really do need to find him just in case. Yes, uh, fighting each and every one of your siblings is very vital for the balance. Though, yes, you may not see eye to eye, especially when it comes to 
Fury's anger. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Oh, oh, nothing. Hmm. Okay. Well, is there anything else I might need to know? Not completely. Oh, you can also teleport. Really? Ah, yes. Very handy, if I do say so myself. Huh. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So, anything else? Well, teleporting slash... What? It's when you teleport across the battlefield to live or uh, attack with your slash. Slash attack with your, uh, you know, scythe. Oh. And it does heal you. Really? Not to mention you could actually, depending on how you attune your scythe, at least modify it, you could either set enemies on fire, freeze them, cause explosions, to make your damage that much more well, deadly. Really? Mm hmm. There's also a technique you used Harvest. What's that? Well, it's when your true self appears, unleashing spinning scythe attacks, just devastating the enemy. At least anyone I'm lucky enough to be your way, that is. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. I guess murder. What? No, 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 that's not why. It's when you actually summon a gang of crows. You know, no, cr it's called a murder of crows. <laughs> oh. Actually, now that I think about it, why do they? Why why would someone call them a murder? I don't know. I don't know that, sir. But either way, when it comes to these crows, they can deal damage as well as heal you. Uh, wow. Really? Oh, here's something here. What about Frenzy? That's something that could definitely come in handy when dealing with a large number of enemies. What does it do? It's when you channel your remaining wrath, or at least anything that you have wrath to help fuel, where you pretty much go, um, as some people will say, batshit crazy, and start swinging indiscriminately. So if anything, if you do use this, I would suggest you don't use it around people who are allies, or they could get caught in the crossfire. Hmm. Okay. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Wait, I'm dead, so would I be able to... You can use Hellfire. Really? Of course. Soul manipulation as well as uh, you could possibly just fly do your Reaper form. Um, really? Of course. You also have healing, shape shifting your shape shifting which I already told you of, you can breathe underwater, you technically don't need to eat or drink, even technically rest. The amount of stamina that each of you have 
or very high. It will take a lot, and I do mean a lot to actually keep you down for long. Hmm. I did notice some of these pictures, or well, these portraits of me. Yes, one of them. Mm. It seems as though I could actually uh, just I could stand to uh, use some more armor. Cause from what I can see, I don't really use it that much. Or am I just posing like that for kicks? Actually, yes. You don't really use much armor. Well, it is mainly due to the fact that you can heal but uh, a lot better than others. Huh. So, I can use Hellfire. Yes. You also have a resistance to corruption. Or, wait, wait, what corruption? What's that? Hmm. Think of it as, uh, infecting someone or something with someone else's power. It can be used to mind control or just simply infect and infect others, you know, that sort of thing. Or just plain out kill through a type of illness. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Oh yes, you can also seal. What's that? You can actually uh, trap souls or into certain objects, even other people. Like say, mm, my body was far too decayed or whatnot to the point where I would have been an ordinary skeleton or whatnot. Or if you did, after you did revive me, it could have been very, uh, how should I put this? Mm, not very ideal. You can still put my soul back into my old body or place it into another newer body, preferably fresher when it comes to death. Whoa. Not to mention, you also have disease manipulation as well as poison manipulation. I'm poisonous? <laughs> yes, as well as having a. You know. You don't have to worry about it affecting you, of course. Huh. So, what else can I do? Well, you can also interact with intangible or non-comporeal beings, such as souls, as well as, you know, see them. So I can touch dead people? I wouldn't phrase it like that. You can, you can uh, interact with their souls and spirits and ghosts and all that and the like. Oh. I believe you also do have a bare bone and ice manipulation. I heard you say you did create a portal once a few times. Hmm. You also do have explosion manipulation from what I believe. What? As he thinks back to Bakugo, was like. So I could, yes, but you did end up needing this or something for that to be truly, you know, uh, attainable for you. Oh, yes. The same thing, since you do have necromancy under your belt, you can also wait for it. Raise the dead however you see fit. 
yes, I know, you seem very surprised. No, no, I, I figured I could do that. What? I mean, if what you really think about is if I'm death, uh, <laughs> raising the dead, necromancy, that sounds pretty standard, doesn't it? Oh. Now what you say like that, I... Yes. I, I, I do believe it does. As yes, he's like, oh, hmm. what's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings. No, no, of course not. I'm just saying the obvious, that's all. <sighs> I can't waste your time with the explanation. You don't have to mope around like that. Very right, very right you are. Yeah, if anything, I'm just being a little... <laughs> a bit more of a crybaby, you could say. And I do apologize for that. I'll try my best to not allow this to hinder my work for you. If I, what would you like me to do for you right now, this moment? Um... Nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I mean, you've helped me quite a bit right now, so I'm fine. Are you certain? I mean, I, I don't mind uh, helping you locate your siblings if you do acquire such. No, uh, your work here. That's that's enough. You're certain. Yes. Very well, uh, then I shall wait for your inevitable return, sir. Right. As Zuku, he just calls the spare and says, Don't worry, I will return. Please see that you do. It gets kind of lonely without other people to talk to. Could try to talk to the skeletons. They can't talk. Right. Oh wait! Don't forget your scythes. Oh right. Th thank you. And your your mask. Oh, do I have to? Well, it, I um. Uh, I suppose you technically don't have to. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll br I'll bring you with me. Who knows? Wait, what's that? Hmm? Oh, this? Oh, this is the amulet of souls. What? Oh, yes. You, uh, have the souls of your. the other Nifflin. Yes! So you remember it? I. kind of do, yes. Do you want it? I don't know. It feels like it's calling to you. Yes. Well, sir, it, they are souls. <laughs> so it would make sense, wouldn't it? Right. Hmm. But for some reason... Uh, never mind. Yes, I'll, I'll take them. Zuku, pun holding it, he hears the voices screaming out of anger and agony, just yelling at him, Why did you do this to us? Whoa, okay, that is not a feeling I wish to get used to. I'm sorry? Don't you hear it? Uh, no. Really? Ugh. Never mind it. Uh, you said poor creation? Yes. Okay, I'm going above, sir. Just above? Yeah, I'm in hell, aren't I? Uh, uh, no, you're not. What? 
This is a different plane altogether. Well, there is this door you can go through if you want to go to the human realm, though. Really? Yes, just go through the door. Is it good upon going? He knows it's like, what the hell? It's practically no, I do mean no time has passed.